We're going to be graphing a quadratic function in standard form, or in factored form, but um, let's review our three different forms for a quadratic function. The first form here in the orange is what we call standard form. It has um, an ax squared, a bx, and then our constants of c. Factored form has a factor and a factor, sometimes maybe just one factor, and then vertex form is what you think of like as your uh, parent with some transformations. What we're going to do is take this example that is in factored form and we're going to convert it to standard form. So we're going to uh, FOIL or distribute. So x times x is x squared. x times 7 is 7x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and then negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. We'll go ahead and combine our middle terms into our like terms. 7x minus 4x, or minus 3x is 4x. All right, so what we've done is we've taken our quadratic equation that is in factored form, and we've converted it to standard form. We're going to go through this example in factored form. So we have our function factored out, and we're going to find just a few things in this function. As we move through our unit, we will learn more pieces to uh, the importance of graphing this quadratic function. So to find the x-intercepts, we're going to use the zero product property. We're going to set the function equal to zero, so we're going to replace that g of x with zero. And we're going to use the zero product property and find our zeros, our roots of the function. So the first factor is x minus 4. We will set that equal to 0. And the second factor of x minus 1, set that equal to 0. Now we solve them for x. So the first equation on the left has a minus 4. So to undo that, we're going to add 4. So as an ordered pair for the x-intercept, we're going to go right 4 and then up 0. All right, second equation, x minus 1 equals 0. To solve that for x, we're going to undo the minus 1, and we're going to add 1 to both sides. So that is a 0 or a root, but as an ordered pair, it's right 1 and then up 0. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to convert this quadratic function to standard form. So on that previous slide, if you remember, we um, distributed, we foiled out those two parentheses, those binomials. So we're going to do the same thing here. All right, so let's FOIL this. So first, x times x is x squared. Outside, x times negative 1, negative 1x. One negative 4 times x, negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and combine our like terms. Negative x and negative 4x is negative 5x, and then plus 4. All right, so now we've created our function in standard form, which, like I said earlier, we will spend some more time on that in this unit on standard form. The last thing I want um, us to pick out is the c. If you remember standard form, there's the ax squared, the bx, and then the c. The C is what we want. What the C represents in our graph is the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. So our y-intercept is over 0, up 4. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just graph the intercepts for this function. So we're going to graph the x-intercept of 4, 0, and 1, 0. All right, so let's create some values on a coordinate plane. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Now we're going to graph our x-intercepts. Remember our x-intercepts were at 4, 0 and 1, 0. So those are our x-intercepts that touch on the x-axis. The next thing I want to graph is our y-intercept. That is the c in standard form. So that's over 0, up 4. All right. Now we have three points, our y-intercept and then our two x-intercepts. 
Now we know the shape of our quadratic functions are parabolas. So we know that this has to come down here. And so I'm just going to approximate for right now. I don't know how far down, how minimum of a point that goes. I'm just going to guess this piece here. So this is a guess. Now when we move into the unit, we're going to figure out what this exact piece looks like. We're going to give you some more tools in your math. So for right now, this is how you convert from factor form to standard form, identifying your x-intercept and your y-intercept. Again, here in the yellow, we will teach you how to find this minimum point here, which we call our vertex.